How does cognitive theory affect learning? Have you heard about Taxonomy of Educational Objectives by Bloom? I am asking because there is a cognitive domain mentioned in the Taxonomy of Educational Objectives. I am particularly interested in cognitive aspects of adult learning or even childhood learning. Cognitive system of an adult or a child is based to use assessment. For example, adult cognition assessment types are multiple choice questions or statements, essay writing, interview, case studies, examination, etc. The cognitive theory is interested in propositional knowledge, procedural knowledge, and dispositional knowledge. You can watch my previous video from above titled The Classification Explanation on Cognitive Theory. All the three knowledge mentioned are the openness of cognition in our brain because they require analysis, evaluation, synthesis, checklists, etc. In another word, they elicit the cognitive part of our brain. Actually, for example, the VET stands for Vocational Education Students. They make use of hands-on or practical strategies using cognition, such as cognitive, metacognitive, and social learning. For example, VET stands for Vocational Education Students use cognitive strategy operate directly on information presented and to organize and process it to affect learning. Vocational education students also use metacognitive strategy. Metacognitive strategy is defined as higher order executive skills involve planning, monitoring, or evaluating the success of a learning strategy. Again, connection. Vocational education students also use social strategy, the representation of the interactions with others or ideational control over effect. They might other cognitive strategy, for example, are recalling, diagnosis, imaging, application, lining, confirming, translation, rehearsal, practice, drawing, experimentation, problem solving, etc. In teaching student, uh, children mathematics, the programmer or educator are required to use cognitive strategies to set the challenging questions for effective learning of children. For example, what would be the cognitive outcomes of the program? Will it lead to children's development conceptual understanding? Will it help to elicit mental arithmetic strategies, will it help with estimation strategies, will it help with communication skills, will it help the children the ability to represent real problems as a model using concrete materials, etc. Some instructors use instructional game on motivation and performance to elicit connection. You can watch my video from the above. So using instructional game significantly affects the four motivational components of attention, relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. Instructional games are effective for assisting students to acquire, practice, and transfer mathematical concepts and problem-solving abilities. Thank you for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.